Hello and welcome to a quick overview on JAWS. Um, JAWS stands for Job Access with Speech. Uh, JAWS is a screen reader and arguably one of the best in the world. Uh, this video is only going to be around about five minutes or so and is designed to give you a quick insight into what JAWS is capable of. Um, I'm going to quickly cover opening JAWS, um, talking a bit about it and navigating a website using Internet Explorer just showing you some of the, the basic navigational keystrokes within JAWS, how to navigate websites, that sort of thing. So I'm currently running JAWS version 15 um, on Windows 7 operating system. So if you've got any slight variations of software or operating system, um, there might be some added features that aren't available in this version. Um, but the basic premise is exactly the same and, and should interact exactly the same. So throughout the video JAWS will speak back to me a lot so if I get cut off halfway through a sentence then um, I will resume after JAWS has uh, stopped talking. So <clears throat> let's begin by opening JAWS. JAWS for Windows is ready. Start button to open. Press enter. Okay so JAWS has uh, a lot of verbosity settings. So you can totally customize the voice of JAWS uh, to suit your needs. Uh, you can change the speech, you can make it faster, slower, etc. And I'm not going to show you that today just because of the limited time, time scale of this video, but the setup I currently have is as if you've installed it for the very first time. So let's open up Internet Explorer. Menu, search box, edit, type text in this edit field or press up or down arrow to move through items. So I push the Windows key to get the start menu up um, and what Jaws basically said there was that we're currently in a text edit field in the search programs and files text edit field and then we can use the up and down arrow keys to navigate. So e I could e go through like this, Internet Explorer and it's there. Or I can use the up and down arrow keys. I'm just going to quickly use the up and down arrow keys. Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Link, Microsoft Outlook, Internet Explorer, Submenu, 4 of 11, I. Okay, so I was scrolling through and Jaws was telling me exactly what I was highlighted on. And I've got to Internet Explorer. So to open that, I just push Enter. Enter, leaving menus. Internet Explorer. And now it's loading the BBC website. New tab page. BBC-home. New tab page. BBC-home page has 10 regions, 82 headings, and 112 links. BBC-home banner visited link graphic. BBC visited link. Heading level 2 accessibility links list of two items. Same page link skip to content. Link accessibility help list and link sign and navigation region heading list. Okay, so what JAWS will do there is trying to read the whole entire page. Um, to mute that, uh, I push the control key. Um, it's basically like the shut up key for uh, JAWS. Okay, so it's important for any screen reader user to understand the basic elements uh, within a website. So this includes things like the heading structure, hyperlinks, graphics, form fields, etc. The main reason for this is the different elements used within a website are ones that are used for navigation with JAWS. So like I said, there are many ways you can navigate around a website. Um, one of the ways is through hyperlinks. So a hyperlink, um, or link for short, is text that performs some sort of action when you click it or select it and press enter. If you want, you can go through all the links on the page by pressing the tab key repeatedly. You can also list all the links within a page by pressing the insert and F7 key. Links list dialog. Links list view. BBC 1 of 112. To move to items, use the arrow keys. Okay, so here's all the links available on the website. Now, links on a website should be, when read out of context, make some sort of sense. So, here we are. Here's Skip the, the content. Accessibility. Uh, sign in. News. Sport. Weather, iPlayer, TV, Radio, CBBC. Skip okay, so the that's the, li the links okay, list. <coughs> and news, you navigate sport, that using the news, narrow arrow keys. Skip BBC. I just want to quickly refresh the page. So it's the BBC. That is the, 
the main home page. So we'll push enter. Enter. BBC visited link graphic. And I'll refresh the page. Now I'm going to tab through the page. Tab, new tab, skip the content, same page link. Okay, so a quick note on the skip to content link. Some web pages have special links with names like skip to main content or skip navigation. Um, these same page links, so links that take you onto the, somewhere on the same page, um, allow you to quickly jump past navigational elements such as menus, navigation bars, and so on uh, to go directly to the important information on the page. So if we, if we push enter this should take us to the welcome to the BBC um, main content and should skip out the navigational element which is the news, sport, weather, iPlayer, TV, radio, CBBC, more and the search bar. It should skip that completely and go straight to the main content which is all the news. Enter BBC dash home page has 10 regions, 82 headings and 112 links. Heading level 1 BBC home page, heading level 2 welcome to the BBC Thursday, 3 December customize your home page button. Link sign in with your BBC ID or link register to see weather, local news and more heading level 2 link UK launch. So you can also navigate by headings on a web page. To do this you simply press insert F6. Heading list dialog, headings list view, welcome to the BBC colon 2, 4 of 82. To move to items, use the arrow keys. So a heading structure is important not only to present a clear structure to the web page, but also consideration of those using screen readers. Uh, heading tags are used to define the headings in your page or in the page. So uh, there are six available. H1 um, is the biggest and boldest, so that is typically the home page logo, the home page button, and then H6 is the smallest. They are used as if you were writing a book or writing an article, that's how it splits up the page. So it's used as a hierarchical structure really for the web page, so you can navigate it with relative ease. UK launch Oscar Pastor Alan Yentob resigns as BBC Creative Director colon who. So like we did with the list links, I'm using the up and down carriers to go through. And when I want to make that Heading, receive the active focus, I press enter. Enter, visited heading level 2 link, Alan Yentob resigns as BBC creative director. Alan Yentob resigns as BBC creative director. Enter, new tab page. Alan Yentob resigns as BBC creative director, entertainment and arts heading level. So I pushed enter again to navigate to that uh, to this web page, and now I'd stop JAWS, but JAWS would continue reading that entire page. Links list dialogue, links list view, accessibility help. Skip BBC Enter. BBC visited link graphic. Now I'm on the back on the main main homepage again. So there's another way you can search as well. Um, there are many more, but this is the last one I'm going to do just because on the time scale. Um, is that you can use Control and F to search or to find a word or phrase on the page. Virtual find JAWS find dialog find what colon edit combo zero items to set the value use the arrow keys or type the value alt plus w. Okay, so that was I opened that using control and F, and I can basically search for anything on this page. So if I know that there is something called weather on this page, w I type in e w e a, a and click find visited link weather. There we go, and it found it for me. So I push enter, enter again. Weather visited link. And it will take BBC me to the weather, weather section of BBC the website. Weather page has five. And it obviously took me to the 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 weather section of the the, the website. So control Virtual F. Find jaws A. R A. R A. Enter link radio. Link radio, so that's received the active focus now, so we push enter again. Enter radio visited link. And it'll take me to that. I've barely scratched BBC the surface. I've barely scratched the surface of what JAWS is capable of, however, um, I hope it's given a very quick insight into how JAWS interacts with uh, the website uh, or websites um, and how you can navigate them using JAWS.